Another brand new day. At least it stopped raining. During the day, the park's quite safe. Sometimes some freaks are hanging out here. But at least you don't have to fear for your life. In the heavens, in the stars above you, there are huge, violent machines orbiting. They will blast the force from your head until there is nothing left but happiness. The happiness of one in the last second of death after a long, painful torture, but you won't die! You must live on! In the heavens, in the stars above you, there are huge, violent machines orbiting. They will blast the force from your head until there is nothing left but happiness! The happiness of one in the last second of death after a long, painful torture, but you won't die! You must live on! There are dreams, dazzling and dubious dreams, oasis of happiness on the horizon, but it is only the shimmering heat of his power! Nobody is close to you because he is close to you, and he keeps everything away from you. Your world is a gleaming bubble growing smaller and smaller as he uses up your air and will burst, or you will suffocate in it yourself. He sees you, he hears you, he sees through you. <laughs> Man. What weird stuff he's blabbering. What the heck is that supposed to mean? And you! You too will feel his wrath! Who? Me? You! I don't think he's talking to me. You! You will get too close to him, and he will destroy you! What a nutcase. It wasn't so sad. Just as he destroyed me! Yeah, well, you're damn right with that one. And just as he destroyed the one you love! What was that? You heard right! He's not talking about me. Oh yeah, I mean you! He knows you, and he'll take your mind just as he took your beloved ones! What are you talking about? Cut it out, you idiot. There are things you just don't make fun of, and... Are you afraid? You'll be even more afraid! A gift will come to you! The steel birds are staring at you with their dead, red eyes! and you will live as one among the dead. What the? You are lost! So, that's enough now. You're totally nuts. Crazy. I better be going now. In the heavens, in the stars above you, there are huge, violent machines orbiting. They will blast the force from your heads until there is nothing left but happiness. The happiness of one in the last second of death after a long, painful torture. But you won't die! You must live on! Your heads are empty! Your hearts are empty! Your eyes are empty! You're not dead! But you're not alive either! You're what he allows you to be, moths hovering around his... I think I could use this wire. He sees for you, he thinks for you, he lives for you, and you don't have to do anything! You can't do anything, and you are already dust 
before you even turn to dust! The spirit of the world is dead. Creation is no longer your idol. He is neither student nor slave. He is master, your master, and you are his! Hello? Hello! Hey, what's up, brother? There you go. I almost thought you are planning on ignoring me completely. Sorry, brother. Sorry, but I really didn't notice you there. Is there anything I can help you with? And, uh, do you have anything to smoke, man? Uh, unfortunately, no. I'm sorry. How can you possibly stand it here? What do you mean, man? This is a beautiful park. The grass smells like grass. And the weather's really so fine. What I mean is, how can you bear to live next to this freak over there? What, man? Sorry, but you have to speak up some. The guru! Don't tell me his crazy speeches don't get on your nerves as well. Ah, him! Nah, he doesn't bother me one bit, brother. I don't hear him at all. But you're not playing that loud. What do you mean you don't hear him? Are you deaf? He's screaming loud enough to wake the dead. I, for one, could hear him when I entered the park. Yeah, man, exactly. What do you mean with exactly? I'm deaf. I don't hear him at all. Oh, I'm, uh, oh, very sorry about that. Hey, you don't have to be sorry. Beethoven was deaf too, and he was totally groovy. And you can understand me just the same? Yeah, of course, man. I'm reading your lips. You're deaf, and you still play the guitar? Of course, man. I can feel the guitar, you get it? It's like being high. The feeling is totally mine. That makes sense. Hey, what's up, brother? You look totally frustrated. Your face is all cramped up. Did something rub you wrong? You should smoke something or learn to play guitar. I could teach you. Huh. That sounds really tempting. But I think this park is too much for me. Maybe you don't hear the guru, but I do. Yeah, I know. Quite an advantage that I'm deaf, isn't it? I'm pretty lucky, aren't I? Uh, that's not how I meant it. What I meant was... Man, that was just a joke. You're totally tensed out, huh? You really gotta smoke some, man. Seriously. Uh, by the way, do you have anything on you? Can I ask you something else? A guru. What kind of a guy is he? Do you know him? Yeah, well, we fought over the bench a couple of times. Otherwise, we just avoid each other. He wasn't always like that, poor guy. And what do you know about him? Hey, that dude lived really close by here. That's what a friend of mine said. I think he was a physicist or something like that. I don't really know anymore. I was really high, you know what I mean? A scientist? Him? Something like that. Maybe a Scientologist. We were high, man. Really high, man. At any rate, he's totally crazy, that's for sure. Hey, you never know. Genius and insanity are pretty close to each other. Maybe he understands a lot more than both of us together when we're high. Did I already ask you if you have anything to smoke? I think so. Damn, I totally forgot. I gotta go. Take care. Okay, man. Take some weed with you next time.
Well, who do we have here? Hi, Peter. Beautiful day, isn't it? Everything okay with you? Yeah, well, I'm doing all right. Come on, Peter. You can't ruin every day for me. What the hell is going on with you? It's really nothing. I'm just a little bit overworked. Overworked? You look more like you're lovesick. Or an ulcer. Or both. Something like that. And? How's it coming on in your apartment? Do you like it? Have you finished furnishing it? Yeah, of course. It's totally cozy. You know what, Peter? Starting today, I'm not gonna sell you any more whiskey. Your answers are getting shorter all the time. I think your speech center is suffering. <laughs> You're such a nice guy, Bob. It's good to have you around. Well, that sounds better. You're still not getting anything for free. So, what can I do for you? Who is this guy over there in the park? This guru? Oh, him. He came over to the store about 8 o'clock and wanted to dump his magazine off on me. He seems to have set himself up in the park. His magazine? He's making a magazine? Unbelievable. What's it about? Crazy stuff, of course. He probably writes it himself. Brainwashing, attacks from UFOs, well, you know, the whole paranoid trip. Poor bastard. One day they'll come and pick him up. Maybe it'd be better for him. But he can definitely scare the heck out of you. But he's probably just a poor devil who's down on his luck. We all have bad luck sometimes. My mother-in-law, for example, is a nightmare. That's what I call bad luck. And? Do I take that as an excuse to sell crazy magazines to people or babble nonsense to myself in the park? I don't know. The stuff he's babbling? It sounds to me somewhat disquieting. How long did you stay open last night? Uh, till 10, as always. Why? Hmm. 10 o'clock. That sounds about right. Did you see anything unusual round about 10? Well, the cops were there. Riot squad in full battle gear. I suppose a drug raid. The usual. They came to my house. The raid was actually on my floor. Uh-huh. You didn't do anything bad, did you, Peter? Admit it. You don't work for Greenberg and Winter all the time. You deal liquid mine from your apartment. No. Not liquid mine? What do you deal then? Hyper shots? Devil sticks? Oh, come on, you can tell me. Really, Bob, it wasn't that funny yesterday. Not at all. The cops stormed the neighbor's apartment and arrested the father, a journalist. His name is Graham Oswald. Do you know him? Oh, yeah. The gone man with the gray hair. Well, my God, things like that happen. Maybe he didn't pay his taxes or park wrong. Or perhaps he revealed some national secrets. Was anybody else in the streets besides you, of course? Well, I don't think so. Or, wait a minute. These two young guys, yeah, they were there. Two young guys? What did they do? They plastered the posters over the telescreen again. Alien Attack Club. Onto that public telescreen that's down the street? Exactly, Peter. Smack dab in the middle of your expensive advertising displays. Well, they're pretty bold. Just a second, Bob. I'm gonna take a look at that. Hmm. But I don't see any posters there anymore. No. I know. Early this morning. There was a car from the central services there. They removed them again. They were also in your house. Yeah, right. There was a door to repair. What's all the fuss about this alien attack club, anyway? No idea. Crazy stuff. In what direction did the cops drive off? Downtown, as always. Over there down the street. Over the Brooklyn Bridge. Did you hear or see anything that was unusual? No, nothing. They stormed the building and came out with some guy. He resisted a lot and yelled something, but I didn't understand it exactly. He yelled something? Can you please think about it? Maybe you can remember what it was. It, it could be important. Tell me, Peter, why does that actually interest you? It's too long a story to explain it to you right now. Besides, I have to rush over to the agency in a few minutes. I gotta run, Bob. See you later. Okay. I got this alien figure from Mr. Oswald's son. He said his father bought it for him. What do you think? Where could I possibly buy an alien like that around here? 
Ugh. What is that disgusting thing? No wonder it's rare. You can't buy anything like that anywhere. At least I hope not. By the way, this one looks just like those creatures on the posters. You mean these posters about the alien attack club? Exactly. On the other hand, I bet aliens have looked like that since the 80s in the last century. Hmm. I think I'll give these alien fans a call anyway. Maybe they can tell me more about the figure. There was something about Essex Street on the posters, but I'd be careful. That's on Lower East Side. However, I have to stop by the agency first anyway. <laughs>